The bookmap volume bars are located at the bottom here in the bookmap chart. Let's go up to the studies configuration tool, click on it, find volume bars and make sure the box is selected. You can select the bar width here from 1 to 15. Currently we're looking at the volume delta bars which is by minus cell volume. Thus the bar is either all green or all red. We can also look at total volume which is a by plus cell volume composite. We can display the bars as a color gradient or solid. Let's select solid and close the settings. It is important to note with the solid display the cell volume is always on the bottom and the by volume is always on top. This bar here is mostly cell volume with a little bit of by volume on top. The addition of the two together give you the total volume readout. Notice the small number on the left side. This gives us an estimate of the volume spike within the viewable chart range. Note you can hover over the number, left click, hold and drag to expand and contract the bar sizes. Let's right click on the bars and bring up the settings. And click restore to return to the default settings. Let's cover the clustering feature. It is similar to the volume dots clustering from another video. Click on the drop down and select the clustering option you prefer. Let's select by time and choose 5 minutes. A volume bar is displayed every 5 minutes. If you click inherit from dots, you can see the volume bars changed to the smart clustering, just like the dots. Let's go back to the bars of clustering by time within 5 minutes and click apply to dots. Now the dots reflect the same clustering as the bars.